less common escapes that you'll run into, okay? Anytime somebody's in the shoulder justice position, as long as he's controlling my chin, it's gonna be harder for me to get out of here, so I need to relieve this pressure. I'm gonna grab that shoulder, I'm gonna turn my face away and actually turn away from the pressure that he's putting in there in order to get my fingers in, and now I pull my elbow down to my body in order to take that pressure off. Okay, now, a very common thing that you'll get is when I go to the underhook here, he's gonna switch his hand to the other side of my body. No, nope, no, nope, not that one. Snowplow. Okay, so dealing with a snowplow position, okay? I can bridge into him all I want, I can strip away all I want, but it's easy for him to maintain this contact. So instead, I'm gonna relieve the pressure off my face, and I'm gonna bridge into him. Now, if he doesn't react, I'm gonna be able to make space and start regarding. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, when I bridge into him, his natural reaction is going to be to bridge back into me. I'm going to pull my right elbow to the ground and drop my butt in order to take him over my hips. Okay? So I bridge in. As long as that arm's there, he's not going to be able to mount. Right? I bridge in, and as soon as he pushes back, I'm pulling that elbow to my hips and dropping it towards the ground, right? Towards my feet in order to sit up and come up on top. Make sense? Can you do it again? Yeah. With your head facing that way? Yeah. Your head, my head facing that way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yep, so I got my underhook, he swims, right? This is a really common, I do this to Carl probably once every two months, right? And take the pressure off, okay? I start shrimping out to get him to bring into me. Then as soon as his hips come in, I bridge into him. So he drives back into me. Now I'm not pulling him over my body that way. I'm pulling him down towards my feet. Right? So his hips get loaded up over top of mine. Now if I get stuck here, I'm almost there, and he tries to sprawl out, I'm gonna shrimp my hips, right? Or switch my hips. So my dick's pointed at the ground, right? I bridge in, I turn, and then I'm gonna switch in order to pull him through. Make sense? Yeah. Are you trapping that uh, far tricep? Trapping both arms. Yeah. Yep, so I've got the top one trapped here, the bottom one I'm pulling it, actively pulling it to my hip. So that he can't pull that arm back out to base, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? The higher, the better. I'm almost, you could even almost think about trapping his shoulder to your leg, if that helps, right? In, back over, and I'm gonna bridge away, and then switch if I really need to. You won't, probably won't, but just in case. All right, play with it a couple times. One, two, three. 